Today, we're going to talk about reading and the competitive edge that it actually provides in business. So what a lot of people don't know, I don't know if they don't know it, but a lot of people look at reading as, oh, I don't like reading or, well, what's the point of reading a book or, well, I could be doing something better. Books are the greatest competitive edge that anyone can add to their life and no matter what profession that they're, that they're in. The reason for that is books themselves are time machines. And so when we read books, it's not that we are placing ourselves like one book ahead of the person behind us. It's that we're adding thousands of years of human thought on a particular topic condensed into two to 300 pages, which exponentially increases our ability. If, if, we then go about applying what we read. So I'm not a big fiction reader. I do believe that they're a waste of time because there's not something applicable. Like when you're reading a fiction book, yes, it's for pleasure, but there's not something that you can go out and apply to your life and make it better. At least I don't recommend. When we're reading books on business, however, and we can actively go out and act and you do these things. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's just business, anything that's going to advance your life, whether it's emotional, your fitness, whatever that looks like, we're adding thousands of years of experience into our treasure chest, in, in our wisdom, when we actually go about and apply it. I'll give you a perfect example. So there's a lot of people who will read a lot of financial books, right? but then they don't have any money in the stock market or they're not trading futures or they're not trading cryptocurrency, but they know a lot. Is that person any better off? I mean, really, they know all this about whatever it is they know about, but they don't actually participate in it. Or would it be better to participate in it and then go, hey, you know what? I wonder if there's something that will make me better at this and then go and get a book. Which person is going to be in the better in the better position of their life? The person who just knows a lot or the person who's actually doing it? Okay. Let's put it to a different frame around books. That books aren't a passive exercise. Like we read in order to learn something that we can apply in our life immediately. And so, uh, for example, uh, if, you, if you're not in business, but you want to start a business, just open up something online go, you know what? I can teach people how to do this. I know how to do this pretty well. Uh, and I think I could be a, it could be of a benefit to people's lives. And then go out and make that business. Just have a place that you can practice your business books. Okay, same thing. If you read a bunch about tennis and you never play tennis, well, what's the point of learning about tennis? Okay. Reading books will provide you a competitive edge over your competitors every single time simply because of the amount of experience and knowledge deposited into your mind and then the active wisdom that you apply it to generate wealth or money or whatever that end result looks like. So how do I recommend reading? Well, when you read a book, like so for example, I'm reading Dan Kennedy's No BS Guide to Marketing to the Affluent. If there was a concept in here that I don't understand, first and foremost, I'll go and define the words, but then I'll go on Google and then look up the concept and see what ChatGPT or Gemini.ai, Google's new thing, I'll go on there. Why? Because we don't read in order to just get through a book. Like, oh, it's just gonna, it's just gonna pour over me like osmosis. That's not, it's not how books work. Books are to be read looking for active practi practical principles that we can apply in our life. Because I promise you, someone can read the same book that you did and get more out of it, but take longer reading it because they actively went through the book and applied the stuff. Well, oh, I already read that book. Well, I already read that. I didn't really get too much out of it. Okay. Reading is for application. And so this is how we turn our reading into a competitive edge over our competitors. 
uh, over anyone who wants to compete against us in anything. Reading will give you a level of domination over your competition that's kind of comical. And then, oh my gosh, I can't believe... We as people oftentimes believe that we're coming up with original ideas and original thought because we haven't expanded our awareness far enough to know and understand that that's already been found and already been discovered. I believe as people, we should, our primary directive is to read as many books as we possibly can and then write our own books. And then people are going to read our books and then write their books as a constant development of human thought and human advancement. But instead, what happens? We read a book and then we think we know anything, everything. Or, well, we went through it, therefore we know everything. Okay, does your one life of 40 years, does that measure up to someone who's come before you and then the person who's come before them? Hundreds, if not thousands of years of knowledge in your profession? I'm sure your 40 years is probably better than that 2000, right? No, of course not. And so when we stop looking at reading as, oh man, I got to read. Oh, people keep telling me I have to read. Like, gosh, like I should just read that book and look at it as an active exercise of, you know what? I could be one book away from a million dollars. The The cheapest route to a million dollars is books. Absolutely. Because you just get so many years of mistakes boiled down into the simplest of truths that you can go about and actively apply in your life and in your business or in the financial market or wherever you're going to create your wealth. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you see that reading itself is actually a competitive edge over just people in general. And that there's so much that we don't know that's already in a book. And so if you're, well, I just read slow, it's okay. Go get a book on speed reading and then apply that. And now all of a sudden you can comprehend and read much faster. And now you're able to like consume massive amounts of knowledge. You increase your awareness as a skill. And then it'll be far easier. It's always slow at the beginning. No matter what, I don't care how old you are, I, it doesn't matter. If whenever we're learning a new thing, it will be slow. As same thing by our, our reading muscle. If we haven't been reading a lot, congratulations, we're not going to be able to lift a lot in the mental gym. But then we just continue to read and read and read and complete our books and then go on to the next one and then complete the next one and then one book at a time. One book at a time. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope this gives you a competitive edge over your competition. And for all my Christian entrepreneurs out there, use it for the Bible. If you want the fastest hack on planet Earth, read the Bible for things to apply. And then you will see a life that you couldn't possibly imagine. I pray that you're blessed, friends. I pray that your riches are multiplied. Your abundance is without measure. That your wealth is mighty and that your prosperity is generational. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.